if you were frozen, I could use you as the uh, model for the trophy. Oh, you fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. We need a name for that trophy. Story. I know. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. Do you have any ideas? The Wendy? Oh, I, I, or oh, why, I don't know why. <laughs> I vote for the Wendy. Yeah. I vote for the Wendy. That's not bad. Martin Short okay. wants to call it the Martys. Everybody wants their own name. Of course he does. Yeah. Why not? Absolutely. They had the idea of the candies uh, after Canada and John Candy. Oh, the candies. That's kind of cute. cute. Oh, that was kind of nice. That's kind of cute. I'm slowly being convinced. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Congratulations on the show's nomination. Thank you. I'm pretty proud of Fantastic. Mr. D. It's a pretty great yeah, show to I be involved you are. in. That's yeah, That's great. We have a lot That's of laughs. That's just great, and you look gorgeous. Thanks. Now, yeah. now you're such a, an amazing... <laughs> you look gorgeous, too. Thank you. <laughs> you All are right. such an amazing resume of uh, strong... Uh, characters that you get to play. Are there any roles that you'd love to play that aren't like those powerhouse ladies? You know, I think there were too many years of playing really nice mom and everything, and now I'm You're not. Done. I'm not so nice yeah. anymore. Yeah. Now you know, I like. I like as my kids say, finally a part that suits you. Right. You know, <laughs> I mean, but it's more interesting, I think, mm -hmm. to play a strong character. And at this age, I like the sort of edgy characters a lot more than the softer ones. Well, tell me a little bit more about your character Revenge. Yeah, I'm head of the initiative, so on Revenge I uh, actually profit from world terrorism. Oh, so that's nice. crazy, huh? So If you had a role like that again exactly. and again, right? But do it for the clothes. That's what I always right. say, because the clothes <laughs> the are fantastic. Mean girls dress so well. You know? I know, so, I'm on Mr. D, I wear track pants, so see, I really... Yeah. You're nice on the show, you're funny. Yeah. No, bad Doesn't clothes. So yeah, much. Exactly. I gotta get mean and Nice clothes. Yeah, mean and nice clothes, a lot of leather. Now, talking about Edge, we've met a lot of the dragons today on the carpet. I remember when CBC was kind of getting into the reality game, a lot of people up in arms, oh, I don't know, public broadcaster. Can you tell me how that has, has changed? Well, I mean, I think the dragons are all, have become, you know, household names in Canada. And I read the show, the, the, the real essence of the show comes from a uh, creation of entrepreneurial class in this country. And I think, I think they epitomize what it means to be great entrepreneurs. And I think the rest of the country loves them. Yeah, and that connection to Canadians. I mean, people, I, we've been hearing, stop them on the street. It really, they become kind of their own icons. Yeah. Well, I think after, after the number of years that the show's yeah. been on and how popular it is, it's the number one Canadian entertainment show on the, on the air right now. And so I think, I think Canadians really, I all want to be entrepreneurs. Everybody really wants to have a, an idea that they can they can run with, and so I think that it speaks to the sort of entrepreneurial nature in all of us. How do you balance that? You know, you're looking for something reality based with drama, but getting that uh, Canadian quality into the the program. Well, I think that program, because um, there's so many people that come out from across the country to pitch their ideas, so it's all Canadians, and of course our, our five dragons are proudly Canadian as well, so I think it's it's Canada on Canada, which is fantastic. And that dynamics on in the, between the dragons is incredible. Like you, that's that should be bottleable. You should have that kind of dragon's water, and it could be like something that percolates all the time. It would be hot. It would, it would be, it would be yeah. hot. That's it really is idea. about the fire yeah. with the dragons, for sure. Yeah. Um, now, this is the first year of the Canadian Screen Awards, as you yeah. know, and is there anybody that you're looking forward to meeting tonight of the in the celebrity world because I'm, I'm a big fan of yours and yours and I would love and I'm I know that for me it's a big deal to meet all these folks but for you like who's it who's a big deal for you to meet well I can I'm, I'm I know Wendy's worked with Marty Short before but I'm really looking forward to meeting him and I think the show is gonna be hilarious hilarious I'm looking forward to seeing Marty that's my of best. course I'm thrilled about he's that. the best host to he have is. tonight he's it's an amazing host. I'm so excited to see him yeah and so too. if you could have dinner with any of Martin Short's characters who would it be uh, well, I, I'd have to say, of course, Jack Frost, because... Of course, yes, of no, course, given. exactly, that yeah. would be mine. That's a pretty good one. Exactly, and Ed Grimley's fun. I see, no one said Ed. I know, no oh, one said Ed. I like Ed. Because he's I a handful. I think I would like uh, Frank. Frank, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Most certainly Frank. Uh, well, somebody else said Jiminy Glick, and I think he'd be pretty fun. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Terribly yeah. funny. Yeah. Thank you so much. I hope you have a lovely evening. You look stunning. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thank you. You too.